Hello, hello, hello. Today is Tuesday, June 28, 2022. Solution to the mass spectrometer problem number 147. It was easy. But of course, for those of you who never watched my lecture in which I discussed this in great detail, it would be a problem. <laughs> okay, so here is the solution. I would say 50% of you have it correct. So if you're ready, I'm ready. An ion of charge Q accelerated from rest by a potential difference V will acquire Kinetic energy K is Q times V. The particle then enters a B-field region where it experiences a force perpendicular to its velocity and travels on a circular path with its speed and kinetic energy remaining constant. That is very essential. The direction of the velocity changes but the speed does not change and the kinetic energy doesn't change. Newton's second law relates the magnetic force on the particle to its centripetal acceleration given by QVB. That's what you may call, if you want that, the magnetic force. And then mv squared over r is the centripetal force. Combining this with k equals one half mv squared, we find that this is the kinetic energy for such cyclotron orbits. Equating both expressions for k and solving for particle mass, we find the result that was required. All right, piece of cake. And if you have not watched my lecture in which I discuss the mass spectrometers and the cyclotron, then please watch it because it is extremely fundamental for first year college physics. Definitely within JEE main, no question about it.